Melvin's Cold Feet by Linda Crust and John Brendel. When Melvin Mouse and his nine brothers and sisters were born, they were pink and had no hair. They looked just like tiny piglets. When they curled up together near their mother, it was almost impossible to tell which mouse was which. But all the baby mice knew which one was which. They especially knew which one was Melvin. Melvin had such cold feet. Look, his little feet are blue. Get off, Melvin, they would squeak. We don't like your cold feet. Even Mother Mouse sometimes said, Melvin, I can feel your cold feet on my tummy. But she was his mother, and she loved him, so she let him warm his toes in her soft fur. Soon Melvin grew up, and it was time for him to leave the nest. His father told him, Make sure you find somewhere nice and warm to live, Melvin. Otherwise, those cold feet will keep you awake all night. So, Melvin set out to find a warm place to make his first nest. Along the way, he met a spider. He asked the spider where he could find a warm place. The spider told him that houses were warm places to live. Melvin scuttled off to a pretty little house nearby. He was sure his feet would stay nice and warm there. The door was open, so he dashed in. There he found a basket full of wool. My, that is a nice house. This is perfect for a mouse with cold feet, he thought, as he curled up in the warm wool. He slept soundly that night. He even had a nibble of green wool for supper and a nibble of red wool for breakfast. The next day, the woman who lived in the house had some socks to mend. She looked into her mending basket and saw Melvin. She screamed and screamed. Well, okay. Poor Melvin awoke with a start. He jumped from the basket and ran from the house as fast as he could. I don't even see Melvin. Where is he? There he is. I hope Melvin finds a house soon. Look out the window. I see a cat. Melvin met his friend the spider and told him all about it. If I didn't have such cold feet, he said, I could live in a field or a barn. What can I do? The spider was kind. I'll spin you some socks, he said. They will keep your feet warm. The spider spun two fine pairs of socks for Melvin. They fit him perfectly. With his new socks, Melvin was able to settle down in a very airy corner of the garden shed, and his feet were never cold again. Looks like Melvin found a very nice place to live. I hope you enjoyed Melvin's Cold Feet by Linda Crust and John Brindle.